I want to take a moment and show you how you can make your own color Hubble Space Telescope image, like the famous Pillars of Creation. All these instructions can be found on the following website. Uh, this particular page can be found on this website. You can download the raw Hubble Space Telescope images by clicking on any of these six objects. For this example, we're going to do the Pillars of Creation image, which is the Eagle Nebula. To open and analyze these images, since they're a special format, we're going to use the free software ImageJ. You can click on the link or just visit this URL and you can run ImageJ directly in your web browser. Let's open up these images from the Hubble Space Telescope. The name of the image tells you what wavelength of light was captured in the image. When you open the image at first, you look like you won't be able to see hardly anything, but there's a lot of information here in this image. Using ImageJ, we're going to go to the, the toolbar and select Image, Adjust, Brightness and Contrast. From here, we can change how the image is displayed on the screen. I'm going to slide these sliders around, and you'll see that there's actually a lot of information in this image. I'm going to open all three of the images that are provided, which represent three different filters one in green and two in red light. And I'm going to adjust the brightness and contrast, image adjust brightness contrast, to show as much of the light as possible without making the whole image very bright. I still want the sky to look dark as possible um, while the nebula is looking nice and bright. So I'm going to keep adjusting these sliders until I like how it looks. There's quite a bit of subjectivity in this process. But that's true of the real Hubble Space Telescope images as well. Oops. Now I'll open the last image. Now you might be wondering why these are all black and white. All astronomical images are captured in black and white, and colored filters are placed in front of the camera to select out only specific wavelengths of light uh, to be recorded by the camera. These images are then combined on a computer using a program like ImageJ, where the colors go together to make a true color image. I'm going to turn these three images into a color picture by going Image to Color to Merge Channels. Here I can choose which image is assigned to the color red, green, and blue. I'm going to try to roughly approximate these wavelengths. My bluest wavelength is 502. My middle wavelength is 656 nanometers and my reddest wavelength is 673. If you choose some of the other objects, for example Saturn, you'll have more than just three images and you can try various combinations of red, green, and blue to see what Saturn looks like. I'm going to uncheck Create Composite and check Keep Source Images. This will allow me to make small changes to the images if I don't like what the final product looks like. Then I'll click OK. Here you can see a final color picture that looks roughly like the famous Pillars of Creation image that you're used to seeing. Now I can make small changes to these colors um, by weighting the amount of red, green, and blue. To do that, let's say I want it to look more red, I can go to my red image, adjust the brightness and contrast to try to make it brighter. Then once again I can go to Image, Color, Merge Channels, Again, choose the same combination and say Keep Source Images. And now you can see that my final image has a more red hue. To save out my final color picture, I can say File, Save As, and choose from a variety of image formats. I hope you have fun exploring these original Hubble images and making your own beautiful color pictures out of them.